And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Nocturne Nightfall. It's going to be our first deck for Rank Up Sunday. This deck is super strong, but it's not easy to play and it, you know, like it's, yeah, basically that. It's not an easy one to play, but it's really, really good. And it, it may honestly be the best deck in the format, but just making, you know, it's a deck where it's very possible to make some mistakes with sequencing. Uh, when you have a keyword like Nightfall, it's kind of difficult for to plan out each turn of like what you're going to be playing first and then be able to have your Nightfall enabled for your other cards. That's difficult to do turn after turn and be able to look ahead and sequence properly. A card like Stalking Shadows is difficult to play of like when to play it, what to choose, um, and everything like that. So the, uh, this is There's some difficulty with this deck, but it's very powerful. Um, and can be pretty aggressive and basically you, you basically get to um you're not going to be like aggressive in the fact that you're like playing one drop two drop three drop curving out all the time because of the whole nightfall thing but it's going to be in the late game you can put a lot of power into play in one turn and do a ton of damage in one turn uh when you have a card like nocturne um you know giving everything fearsome and just doing a ton of surprise damage in one turn. But uh, let's give it a try. We're going to go play our five games in ranked. Hopefully we do pretty good. Hopefully we sequence correctly. Um, so we're starting today at, at uh, 148. Looks like that's where we're going to be starting. Uh, we got a similar kind of deck with, you know, same regions, also Diana. But they're going to be playing Leona, so they're going to be pretty defensive while we will be aggressive. Cygnus is definitely gone. Our Lunar Lunari Shadestalkers are good, but not easy to turn on. Let's keep one Mulligan the other. Okay, we have double Solari Soldier. I was definitely considering not even playing one of the Solari Soldiers immediately. See, like turn two here, we're, we're probably just not doing anything. Now turn three will lead with Solari Soldier. And that will enable the Shade Stalker. You know not the meaning of sacred. We were peaceful once. Alright, pass the turn. Alright, definitely starting with Stalking Shadows, especially how we have another one. And seeing where we go from there. Her flowers bring the moonlight with them. Probably want to go onlookers. Alright, so they're killing my Lunari Shade Stalker. Um, as the question is, does this counter scouts with misfortune? And no, no, like they're both, they're both kind of similar kind of decks. Like they're, they're both aggressively slanted mid-range decks. So I wouldn't really say that either one counters the other. They're just both, you know, similar kind of decks. And, uh, you know, some games, some games the Nightfall is going to win. Some games the scout's going to win. No mercy for heretics. I don't think it's necessarily about countering. Brothers, they will be free. All right, let's go stalking shadows again. So Diane is at two out of four currently. The tribes of Sun and Moon once had peace. A peace built on lies would never last. No. Chosen of the they should stun the ephemeral one. Cowards 
and they tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me. So we're of course killing their Diana. And we're of course attacking there. And I guess that's it. Alright, so Nocturne's at 3 out of 5 now, I believe. Yes, 3 out of 5. I would love to draw a Nocturne. Know your path for the mountain changes. Nocturne may be the, the best card for us to draw. Answer to me. This is kind of difficult of exactly what to do here, like this next turn. So Leona's at three out of four. I missed? How do I always miss with that card? <laughs> I never have opponents miss, but I miss all the time. The Solari brought this bloodshed upon themselves. This war is old as Solari and Lunari alike. What can stop the immortal fire? Mm. No more lies. I will be heard. <sighs> that immortal fire is just perfect, and it only costs the seven. Man, that was perfect. Face your heretic. Yeah, that was perfect. I've had one we did have we did finally at least have an opponent miss with stalking shadows. I played against an opponent they missed with stalking shadows. They the reason why they missed with stalking shadows was um they were not they their deck had basically no followers. They were just a car you know, karma control. You know, with shadow with shadow isles and karma karma's inside of ages is what created the they forced us to um, choose death or the blade sorry karma's inside of ages is what created the stalking shadows and so they tried playing it and they missed that was such a perfect immortal fire That's a perfect Eclipse Dragon. Unseen, unheard. Man, they're going to Elusive. Whatever the cost, fear not death. Spell Cascade's very good. Sisters. Bell Cascade is very good. This is really too bad. Obviously, I, I need Nightfall on the Eclipse Dragon. And, uh... You know, if I, if I just didn't play that other gem to make my, my thing a 3-3... I would have had it. The Nightfall, that is. Could have gone, you know, Gem, then Eclipse Dragon. I guess I could have just attacked with the Mountain Goat first. Maybe I should have done that. The guilty were bad. Can I paint you? Hmm. So 
Crossbow to just attack his Mountain Goat first, they would have just, you know, been able to block Unspeakable Horror. It's a little odd they used that pill cascade right then. Chosen of the moon. Could have been lethal, but they were I guess they were looking for another threat to play. We gotta draw any card with Nightfall. Man, they just had four Pill Cascades. Man, I had zero Pill Cascades. I will not it's a big difference. Alright, at least this time my opponent won't have four free cards from Pill Cascades, because they're not they're not in Targon. Maybe we will. Let me keep the Duskbringers. That'll help out my Nightfall cards. Um, we don't need just a ton of one-drops against uh, Fiora. Mountain Goat gives us surprise Diana. They would fall by my blade. Question is if I want surprise Diana. Yes, I do. Yeah. Travels on the night air. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. No more hiding. I will be heard. I'm giving them a kill with Fiora. But I'm hoping that, that that helps me kill Fiora later with the Unspeakable Horror. Unspeakable Horror, of course, is really good at breaking down a barrier, which their deck is built around barriers. This isn't a good play against uh, Sharp Sight. But if they're play, you know, because now Fiora only has one health, so if they're playing to keep Fiora alive with Fiora challenging these, is Barrier. That makes this a good play. The eye of twilight sees all. Okay, and it looks like their plan is barrier. Could also just go dust into Crescent Guardian. Yeah, I definitely wish I had one more mana. Yeah, definitely do. So I go. Oh god. All beauty is transient. Just kind of wasting a dust there. But I just don't think it really makes sense to just gem the Mountain Goat, which is the other option. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. These woods protect their own. Keeper, our lands need us. Honor dictates both our actions. Mm. Yeah, that's rough. I long for a worthy opponent. Her flowers bring the moonlight with them. I find them Another the Fiora. They're doing a great job drawing their champions. Yeah, Shen is just amazing. Shen, just Shen's ability is like making me, you know, play these uh, unspeakable horrors. Like, right, like I'm not even like trading with cards. I'm just trading with Shen's ability. 
and so that's what so that's why they're able to keep all these extra cards in hand. Definitely like Pale Cascade, that's good. Again, we're one mana short. I want to do all all of these. I want to do, you know, Cygnus, Onlooker, and Pale Cascade. But we can't do all of those. Night covers the land. Our time is now. The water changes, but never breaks. Nari, to me. It's not bad. A gift from the river folk. The quiet of the woods. There's nothing like it. Good morning, Jess. Diana's very good. I think I just have the one Cygnus in here. Yeah, I just have the one Cygnus. Need another one. Yeah, the, their hand has been very good, of course, but this could... I could also see this being a difficult matchup for me. Um, with their, you know, ability just to control combat. Challengers are difficult when you're playing the smaller stuff, but... They've, they've had a very, very good hand. Oh, come on. Honor dictates both our actions. All three Bright Seal Protectors? I don't know, maybe just the two, but man, these are devastating. I sense an imbalance. Nature blesses her followers. You cannot hold us down. Need to draw a Nocturne. So I need to happen is I need I need to have Nocturne. What form will the waters take? I'm blocking like this so that I gain a gem so that I can start with gem next turn. I mean honestly, like Cygnus is kinda what I need, so maybe maybe we could draw another um Unspeakable horror that gets me Cygnus. Alright, we'll see if Nocturne can work. Right now they'd have two blockers. Oh no. That's terrible. Now the minus one, minus zero isn't as, as important. Now they have lots of blockers. If if we had leveled up Nocturne, you know, we would have won, you know, we could have won this game right here, like just leading with Nocturne and then playing all these other things. Like leveled up Nocturne would have won this game. The moon is our queen. Or if the we had a way to give this Diana Kingdom. overwhelm. <clears throat> hey, at Lau. Seven awesome months. Thanks for that resub. Let's get some hype boats in the channel. Thank you so much. Our first sub of the day. Even a full moon has a dark side. Yeah, that's that's why the that Genevieve was great because now you know now these bright steel protectors are able to block. Um, you know, without if they didn't have that Genevieve, you know, like they were looking at only having two blockers. Um, for for because then you know this will level up and give everything fearsome. You know, so that was my hope is that they just had two blockers. Even if they had like a barrier card, a barrier card would give them another, a third blocker, but even with three blockers, we would have been fine. Yeah. Jeez. Great, great hand. Yeah. 
We don't like seeing this matchup again. But our opponent can't possibly have as good a hand as they had last time. However, we also had a good hand last time. This is a pretty awkward hand, just keeping double Unspeakable Horror, right? Because they're not any kind of threats. But Unspeakable Horror, I think, is good in this matchup. It's a pretty awkward hand now. Break their spirits and their swords. Mother Moon will guide me. Harry, repost, you are toast. Lari soldier. Maybe I should be copying. Maybe I should be taking the the protege instead of the shade stalker. Water for my ephemeral. So I guess their plan is repost. And so I shut off repose with unspeakable horror. The they still trade. Strike, we will And so I wanted them to, to repose the river shaper instead of the protege so that we do kill the river shaper. A gift from the river folk. Impossible. We both ended up with you know, six cards still in hand. Two worlds, one balance. Not like this Shen card. It must be not like the Shen card at all. The guilty were banned. I think I'm just going to double Unspeakable Horror of the Shen. I don't know if they play Ranger's Resolve. I don't think so. But we need to get Shen out of here. I think that that's just even more important. I don't want to rely on Nocturne trying to kill Shen and they use whatever barrier and all that kind of stuff. All right, so now we both have six cards in hand, but they still have a protege. Kashen's pretty good. All solar fear the truth. River shape the land and give it life. Unseen, unheard. Yeah, they just they just keep up protection. So my Diana doesn't necessarily work. I'm just gonna play these. Elusives. We swim within the flows of magic. We should level up. Level up the Nocturne. So that's going to be pretty important. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. So one Crescent Overwhelm first, I guess. Now I need a card to help enable the Nightfall cards. You're in over your head. Guess I have them use her post here. Must we fight? I'm trying to think if there's any difference between a 3-3 and a 2-3 blocking. You know, Rangers Resolve, of course, but I don't think they'll have Rangers Resolve. So the 3-3 does more damage to them. I think I'll try to keep that alive. You think I should copy River Shaper? So if it strikes, I draw spells. It may not be bad. I'm not planning on playing whatever we get this turn anyway. It'd be like for next turn. They will all as one. 
I guess the the good part about copying Lunari Shade Stalker is that I would have been able to play two things if I needed to. The moon is our queen. The night, her kingdom. Maybe that would have been the the reason to copy Lunari Shade Stalker is that I could play another thing. Because I'm not I'm not planning on doing any challenging. I'm not planning on letting them block. I'm planning on making it so they can't block, like where they have to use like a repose to block. It's gonna be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16. So one repost is 16. No, oh, why do they always kill my Nocturne? Press on. Uh, they did not do that correctly. They needed to do. They needed the concerted strike to happen first, and then the single combat second. A full moon casts her light across the land. All right, I'm glad we're playing something else. I like that matchup with all those barriers and stuff. Now this deck is going to try to kill all of our stuff. Um, I don't think I want any of these. Now Diana, you know, Diana's just awesome, so I could see keeping Diana. But with basically what I'm looking for is I'm looking for Pale Cascade, Stalking Shadows, Unspeakable Horror. I want those spells that uh, can be a lot of cards so we can, you know, have a good amount of cards and outvalue our opponent. But I want those and I want other things to turn on Nightfall. <laughs> so, all right, so we got a couple of Pale Cascades. That's why I didn't want these three mana cards. They don't help turn on Nightfall. Okay, Solari Soldier. I'll turn on Diana and I'll have Pale Cascade back up. Yeah, Nightfall activation important. Both Diana and Nocturne are cards that we can play without the Nightfall, and like they're they're still okay to play. Like I could play Diana first, and then some other stuff, for example. I know I'm not challenging anything that that's that's that great, but you know that's what they got. It's one for Diana. If we get to attack, that'll be one for Nocturne as well. Devotion to battle. I will be heard. So, like, Stalking Shadows is probably our best draw step. Just every turn. Because Stalking Shadows turns on, you know, help enables Nightfall and draws us two cards. That's the card that we want more than any other. Oh, River Shaper. The night is fading. Moonlight cloaks the land in silver. Alright, so if we can play two Nightfall cards this turn, okay, now we're talking. I guess this is a permanent buff of plus two plus zero. This is not a permanent buff of plus two plus zero. The problem is if they kill my Nocturne, then we want the Onlooker. Come, I'll just do it this way. In our time of need. So I'm, I'm hoping we get to attack with all four of these Nightfall cards, level up Nocturne, they don't get to block. That's what I'm hoping. We have two Pale Cascades for protection. Karma players like to take their time. Moonlight guide me. I'm hoping they only have one thing that does one damage. You know, like go hards and and vile feasts and stuff like that. Definitely hoping they only have one thing that does one damage and not two. Like, they need, like, a Go Hard plus a Vile Feast. Really hope they don't have that. They tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could so basically, if they do not have Vile Feast or Unspeakable Horror here, they kind of lose. If they do not have either Vile Feast or Unspeakable Horror, hopefully not. Doesn't look like it. All right, they had to have it in response there. That should be game. These are all fearsome. Boom. 20 damage. The words of the heretic rang true. You know, like they had, they had three blockers and they had a go hard and 
Grass the Undying, and probably weren't expecting to lose that on turn 5. But, Nocturne pretty good. Okay, Trundle, Trindamir. So now this matchup, we do not need Unspeakable Horror, and Doom Beast is pretty slow. We're gonna look at those two. Not my favorite Stygian Onlooker. Is a beating. Not bad. Not bad. So we're just going to be playing a bunch of Nightfall stuff this turn. So it'll be 2, 3, 4. It's going to make Diana a 3 3. Can't quite kill Weirding Stones. That was a good second Vile Feast. Unspeakable Horror, too. Good hand. I cannot turn back. Face your heretic. All right, Nocturne's at three. Need to be able to play a Nightfall card on their turn, I think. Oh, should have had Lunari Dustbringer on play. Night flowers upon my blade. The if I would have had Dustbringer on play, I could have played both Doom Beast and Nocturne. Killing me. Killing me with these drain ones. No more lies. Whatever the cost. Alright, so we can just attack out. Put them down to three. Is it worth challenging Weirding Stone? So like right now. Um so they had eight mana this turn, so like next next turn, even if I kill Weirding Stones, they're still gonna have eight mana, which eight mana of course is the key. So it's probably not worth killing Weirding Stones. Uh, Cause you know, like that saves them five life. Like I think that I'd rather do the, the five life. They can't block. So we'll put him down to three. Oh, I guess. Forgive me. Okay. Must we fight? Good. I was gonna say. I get. I was gonna say. Oh, I guess they get the two ten tens. They're playing like ruination. 
I don't really see how it hurts me to block. I can pass, because I can just go to attacks. And they can't block anything. So the onus is on them to do something. Yep, so they're going to ruination. Okay. Another win with Nocturne. Nocturne making all my stuff unblockable. And getting through. That's a, that's definitely a big strength of this deck, is that I think that the ramp matchups are good for this Nocturne Nightfall deck. Remember last time that we played this deck, we played against Trundle ramp decks, I think like four four times, or maybe all five times. And you know, we won either three of the four or four out of the five, something like that. And so I, I think that, because uh, we, we saw even there, you know, like they had such good early stuff to stop me, you know, like those Vile Feasts and everything, like were, were crippling. But even though they had that, we just have like set up a turn six where with Nocturne, you know, we attacked and dealt, you know, what did we deal, like 13 damage to them, 16 damage to them, something like that in one turn. And you're know, like, that's just so much damage. So yeah, uh, just huge, you know, huge fearsome attacks. Um, yeah, so I like I like how this de this deck's positioned. I think that the Fiora Shen matchup is going to be pretty rough. I think that we were um, pretty fortunate to go one and one in that matchup. I think that one you're probably going to be winning like four out of ten, just just for how how that one feels. Um, and then you know our other loss was you know like mirror match where they had Leona and um, a bunch of invoke cards and they're playing a lot more defensive but they have a lot of the same kind of stuff so that's probably that's probably um, going to be a favorable matchup for them too but I, I liked how we looked except for they hit the seven mana elusive you know the eight mana elusive invoke card um that dragon or whatever that that undying dragon thing but then it only caught it also only cost seven for them because the mountain scryer in play that was some unfortunate stuff for us there but I I think that overall like that's probably you know like they're probably going to be better in that matchup because usually like mirror type matches when you have the same kind of cards usually the, like this is just kind of like any kind of archetype if you're playing basically the same kind of cards like where they have Diana and a lot of Nightfall stuff we have Diana and a lot of Nightfall stuff usually it's the deck that goes bigger wins that kind of matchup because usually cards kind of trade back and forth and so it's the person that has the better top end that goes bigger is the one that that uh, wins the matchup now there's you know there's obviously oh, every single individual game's different and somebody can have a bad hand somebody has a really good hand all that kind of stuff but just over the long term when you're looking at uh so like i use that example like demacia midrange decks a lot like if you have um two kind of demacia midrange decks the decks that has the higher the bigger uh late game like maybe going like bright steel formation and that kind of stuff is usually going to be winning your demacia mirror matches more often um, but there we go. <clears throat> All right, so this is Nocturne Nightfall. I, I think this deck's really, really good. I think that we didn't have very good pairings for us. I think we had three tough matchups. So, um, you know, with twice with Shen Fiora and once with the uh, Leona Diana. So I think we had three rough matchups, and we went one and two in those matchups. Um, but then, you know, we got to play against Ramp and uh, Karma for the other ones. And there's a lot of people playing Trundle and Karma these days. Like the Tr Trundle and Karma decks are the two most popular kind of decks. And I think this deck is going to be pretty good against both of those. All right. But those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. Let me know, um, you know, what you think of the deck, what you think of, you know, just kind of that uh, discussion we were just having there. Anything else? I love seeing those comments, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.